and web services certifications open the door to many high paying up and coming careers in IT. Once you have passed your AWS certification exams, there is a wide range of job opportunities available to people with AWS expertise. In today's session, we will talk about one such certification that is the AWS Cloud Practitioner. Now, before we begin the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first, we will talk about some of the cloud computing services and how it came into existence. And then we will discuss why do we actually need AWS or why is it so important? Then we'll finally move on and talk about getting started with the AWS certifications. And then we will talk about how to get started with different AWS certifications. And then we will move on to the introduction of the Amazon Web Services Cloud Practitioner. And also I'll give you certain details about this particular examination or certification. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Eddie Reka's YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated. Also, if you're looking for an online certification in AWS, do check out the description box below. Cloud computing has its roots as far back in the 1950s when mainframe computers came into existence. Now during that time, several users accessed the central computer via dummy terminals. The only task these dummy terminals performed was to enable users to access the mainframe computer. The prohibitive costs of these mainframe devices did not make them economically feasible for organizations to buy them. That is exactly when the idea of shared access to a single computer occurred to the companies in order to save costs. Fast forwarding to today's world, the cloud is already a big deal and it's only going to keep growing for any foreseeable future. The public cloud service market is expected to reach $623.3 billion by 2023 worldwide. Also, 83% of enterprise workloads will be in the cloud by 2020 and 94% of enterprises already use a cloud service. This is where AWS or the Amazon Web Services stepped into the picture and due to the global interest in cloud services, Amazon has played an important role in the cloud services industry. It has definitely become an important revenue earner for Amazon. Now there are various cloud services available in the market, but nothing could beat AWS. So why exactly we consider or prefer AWS? So Amazon basically ventured into the online world as a bookstore and now has emerged as the leading cloud computing provider in the world. Amazon Web Service Cloud Business is a service that provides developers and businesses a simple way to create a set of related AWS resources. Now, if we consider these statistics, AWS has grown an average of 48% over the three years ending December 2018 booking nearly around $26 billion in sales that year. So these were some of the interesting numbers and where AWS is heading to. Let's have a look at some of the data and understand why AWS is one of the leading service providers in the market right now. So basically the global infrastructure of AWS comprises of 64 zones of availability spread across 21 worldwide regions. Not just that, Amazon Web Services has over 70 services that include storage, computing, database, networking, application services, etc. Also, there was a 40% increase in new AWS features and services with 722 new features and services added in a single year. That is a huge number. Apart from that, AWS has a global network of 169 edge locations and 11 regional edge caches spread across 30 countries. Thus, it gives rise to AWS WAF, Amazon CloudFront and Amazon Route 53. Not just that, AWS has customers from over 190 countries. The company has over a million active customers that include 5,000 education institutions, 2,000 government agencies and over 17,500 non-profit organizations. And the largest companies in the world like Netflix, Expedia, Reddit and NSA use AWS to run their applications. And finally, consumers buy $222,000 worth of items from Amazon and all of this is hosted on AWS. 
Not just that, most of the e-commerce businesses are dependent on AWS. If we take a look at the Google Trends, you can see the growth of AWS in the past five years. You can only see it growing over the years. And with the growing demand for AWS or the Amazon Web Services, this is definitely the right time to get started with this technology. So now let's move on and understand how do we actually get started with different AWS certifications. So AWS certifications are the hottest certifications in IT for the third year in a row. This constantly evolving cloud computing platform offers a wide variety of services that can drive innovation, enable scalability and help your organization maximize its IT spend. Now the demand for AWS certified developers is growing every day. So talking about some of the certifications that you can opt for while getting started with AWS, we have the role based certifications. So first we have the AWS foundational course, which includes the cloud practitioner. Now this is a six months fundamental AWS cloud and industry knowledge course. Then we have the AWS associate certification. Now this includes three different sections, which is the solutions architect, developer and for the sysops administrator role. Now this particular certification needs one year of experience solving problems and implementing solutions using the AWS cloud. Then we have the professional AWS certification, which includes roles like solutions architect and DevOps engineer. This needs two years of comprehensive experience designing, operating and troubleshooting solutions using the AWS cloud. And finally, we have the AWS certified specialty, which includes the advanced networking, big data and security. Now for this, you must have two to five years of deep technical experience in the associated specialty domain as it relates to the AWS cloud. So these were the four main types of certifications in AWS and also the roles based on that and what are the prerequisites. Now let's talk about the foundational AWS course, which is the AWS cloud practitioner. So talking about the AWS cloud practitioner examination, it is mostly intended for individuals who already have the knowledge and skills to effectively demonstrate an overall understanding of the AWS cloud irrespective of technical roles addressed by other AWS certifications. Now the AWS cloud practitioner certification is a recommended optional step towards achieving an associate level or specialty certification. This can be taken by anybody. This just gives you a stepping stone and will help you building your further career in AWS. So let's get into the details of this particular examination. Talking about the exam details, the format of this exam includes multiple choice questions and multiple answers. You can just select the answers from the options given to you. Then talking about the delivery method, you can either go to a testing center or you can apply for this online. So this is basically is an online proctored exam as well. And the duration of this particular exam is 90 minutes. So you have 90 minutes to complete the entire examination. So the cost of this AWS cloud practitioner examination is around 100 US dollars. But you can also opt for practice exams which are around 20 USDs. Now this particular examination is also available in different languages like English, Japanese, Korean and also simplified Chinese. So these were some of the exam details. Now let's talk about the course objectives. So basically what will this course help you learn or how it's going to add to your career. Now this course will help you learn how to define what the AWS cloud is and also the basic global infrastructure. Not just that it will also help you understand the key services on the AWS platform and their common use cases. And then you can also describe the basic AWS cloud architectural principles. Apart from that, you will be able to explain the basic security and compliance aspects of the AWS platform and the shared security model. The next one is definitely defining the billing, account management and pricing models and also identify sources of documentation or technical assistance. You can also describe the AWS cloud value proposition and also the core characteristics of deploying 
and operating in the AWS cloud. So these were the different course objectives. Now let's understand the learning path and also figure out how you are going to get your expertise in AWS. Now the learning path of AWS cloud practitioner is intended for individuals who are looking to build and validate an overall understanding of the AWS cloud. It is useful for individuals in technical managerial sales purchasing or financial roles who work with the AWS cloud. So the first thing that you need to have is the AWS cloud practitioner essentials and finally you must get certified as an AWS cloud practitioner. So for this all you need is just the basic knowledge of AWS and also you can learn about the overall understanding of AWS cloud how it works the technical details the managerial details etc. Now this course is designed from absolute scratch and is intended for individuals who intend to begin their journey into AWS and give the AWS cloud practitioner certification. Once you have completed all of these steps, finally you will become a certified AWS cloud practitioner and this will definitely help you build your foundation in AWS. That's exactly why it is also known as the foundational course. Now having the certification helps marketing sales legal and finance professionals to better interact with developers and other IT professionals engaged in AWS related projects. Also learning this credential is also a great first step towards the more technical AWS associate level certifications. So now let's understand how it's actually going to help your career. So once you're done with this certification it will definitely boost your career because Amazon Web Services certification is rated as the most valued IT certification globally. In the latest Magic Quadrant report released by Gartner, AWS maintained its position as the king of cloud infrastructure as a service provider. Not just that, the average salary of anyone with an AWS certification ranges around 125k dollars. Also, AWS market is expected to reach 236 billion dollars by 2020 at a CAGR of 22 percent. Now these numbers are enough to make you understand how important it is to get a certification in AWS and also get your career kickstarted in AWS. So you can check out the AWS certification courses provided by Edureka that will definitely help you get a better understanding on AWS as well as get certified and then start your career as a professional. So this was all about today's session. I hope you have understood what is this foundational course which is also known as the AWS cloud practitioner and how it's going to help you in future. So with this we have come to the end of today's session and I hope you have understood what is this foundational course on AWS which is known as the AWS cloud practitioner and how it's going to help your career. So don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!